Welcome to Infigan friends. In today's video, we are having one very interesting and challenging quartic equation. It is x square times x minus 6 whole square plus x minus 3 whole square equal to 51. We have to find out all four solutions. I will showcase two different ways to solve this problem. So let me write here method number one. Where I will consider x minus 3 equal to t. From this equation, I can write x is equal to t plus 3. x minus 6 will be t minus 3. Now, let us convert our equation in variable t using these substitutions. So, I can write our equation x square. So, I will write t plus 3 whole square. x minus 6 square. So, t minus 3 whole square x minus 3 whole square, so t square and right hand side is 51. Now here I can write t plus 3 times t minus 3 in the bracket and then I will put power 2 plus t square equal to 51. Now this is a plus b, a minus b difference of two squares formula, I can straight away write t square minus 3 square whole square plus t square equal to 51. Now this is t square minus 9 whole square plus t square equal to 51. Let's apply a minus b whole square identity. Let me write here t square minus 9 whole square plus t square equal to 51. Now I will be writing a square. So t square whole square t power 4 minus 18 t square plus 81 plus t square equal to 51. Now I can simplify t power 4 then minus 17 t square 81 minus 51 is 30. So this is one quadratic equation in t square. Now I can apply quadratic formula straight away for the value of t square. Let's apply so I can write t square equal to minus b. So minus of minus 17 plus 17 plus minus under the root. Minus 17 is square. So it will be 289 minus 4ac. So minus 120 divided by 2a. So I will write 2 only as a is 1 which will give us 17 plus minus this will be square root 169 divided by 2 or we can write 17 plus minus square root 169 is 13 divided by 2 with plus sign it will be 30 over 2 so 15 with minus sign it will be 4 over 2 so 2 so two values of t square it is 2 and 15 we can write. After taking a square root both sides, I can write t will be equal to plus minus root 2 and plus minus root 15. Now t was our substitution. It was x minus 3. So let me write here x minus 3 equal to. So I will write x minus 3 equal to plus minus root 2 and plus minus root 15. Now add 3 to both sides. So x will come out 3 plus minus root 2 and 3 plus minus root 15. These are our four solutions and all four are real. Now method number two, 
where I will write our equation in one specific form. Let me write here x square x minus 6 whole square and x minus 3 whole square I will take to the RHS. So I can write here x minus 3 whole square. Now I will be writing here x times x minus 6 and then I can put over there power 2. Right hand side is 51 minus. Let us expand a minus b whole square formula. So I will be writing here x square minus 6x plus 9. So from this side I can write 51 minus x square minus 6x. After this bracket I can write minus 9. So 51 minus 9 is 42. Minus x square minus 6x. And in left hand side, if you will multiply, it will become x square minus 6x whole square. Now our obvious substitution will be x square minus 6x. Suppose it is a. So let us consider x square minus 6x equal to a. So this equation will become quadratic in a. So I will write a square will be equal to 42 minus a. Let's solve this quadratic equation and then we will put back our substitution a equal to x square minus 6x. So a square is equal to 42 minus a. So a square plus a minus 42 equal to 0. Remember our substitution is x square minus 6x equal to a. Now I will use method of factorization. We can use fact formula also. Let's use this time factorization method. I will write a square. a I can write as 7a minus 6a minus 42 equal to 0. A is common from first two terms, so I will have A plus 7 minus 6. If I will take common from last two, the same bracket I will get here also. Now I can see A plus 7 is overall common. Second bracket which I can write, it would be A minus 6 equal to 0. Product 0 theorem I will apply A plus 7 equal to 0 or A minus 6 equal to 0. From this equation, I will have a equal to negative 7. And from this equation, I will have a equal to 6. Let us put our substitution. a was x square minus 6x. So I can frame 2 quadratic. Let me write here. 6 and minus 7. And a is x square minus 6x. So I can write here x square minus 6x minus 6 equal to 0 first quadratic and second quadratic x square minus 6x plus 7 equal to 0. Let's solve two quadratic equations for our final answer through method number 2. So I can consider quadratic formula x is equal to minus b. So, minus of minus 6 plus 6 plus minus under the root. b square minus 6 square 36 minus 4ac. So, this time it will be plus 24 divided by 2a. Now, I can write 6 plus minus square root 60 divided by 2. Further, we can write 6 plus minus 15 times 4 is 60. So I can write 2 square root 15 divided by 2. So our final answer will be x is equal to 3 plus minus root 15. Two real solutions. Now come to second quadratic equation. 
again I will apply quadratic formula minus b 6 plus minus under the root b square 36 minus 4ac minus 28 divided by 2a so 2 6 plus minus this will be square root 8 divided by 2a further I can write 6 plus minus 8 can be written as 4 times 2 so I can write 2 root 2 divided by 2 so from here I will be having 3 plus minus square root 2 the other two real solutions so through method number 2 you can see the same results we are having and this brings the end of this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye